Okay, let's proceed with the weighted aggregative indices in a bit more detail. Now, as I told you, you have to remember the general form here. So, price index P01 is given by summation P1W upon summation P0W into 100. Now, if you just replace W by Q0, okay, then we obtain which formula? We obtain the last phrase formula. So, we could write the last phrase formula. I'll just denote L here to indicate last phrase price index. It would be summation P1. Now, what is weightage here? Q0. So, P1 Q0 upon summation P0 Q0 into 100. So, you just replace W by Q0 because last phrase price index gives weightage to base here quantity. Next, if I replace W by Q1, I'll get pass trace index. So you have P01P. P is for pass trace here. So summation P1. Now what is the weightage here? It's Q1. So you write Q1 upon summation P0Q1 into 100. So that's the pass trace formula. Next is dorbisch boles index. Now as I told you, dorbisch boles index is the arithmetic mean of last phrase and past phrase indices. So, we have <coughs> price index in case of dorbisch boles is nothing but last phrase index plus past phrase index divided by 2. So basically, dorbisch boles is the arithmetic mean of last phrase and past phrase indices. Next is <coughs> Fisher. Now what you could do here is you could also write the detailed formula. As in, if I <coughs> set aside this half here, you can write the last phrase ratio here. So the last phrase ratio is P1Q0 upon P0Q0 plus then the past phrase ratio. Past phrase ratio is P1Q1 upon p0 q1 into 100 so this is the detailed formula for dorbisch bole and if you already have last phrase and past phrase indices you could simply take the arithmetic mean <coughs> next is the fisher's index now fisher's index is the geometric mean of last phrase and past phrase indices so we could say p01 f that is fisher's is root of last phrase index into past phrase index <clears throat> so it's the geometric mean of last phrase and past phrase indices now <clears throat> we could write the detailed formula for this as well so square root of now what is the last phrase ratio last phrase ratio is p1 q0 then you have summation p0 q0 times now write the past phrase ratio which is P1 Q1 upon summation P0 Q1 and then you multiply it by 100. So these are the first four <coughs> price indices under weighted aggregate. Now let's proceed with the next set. Now after Fisher's, <coughs> we have spoken about Marshall Edgeworth's index, right? Now in Marshall Edgeworth's index, that is the fifth one. So in case of Marshall Edgeworth, so Marshall Edgeworth's index, weightage was given to Q0 plus Q1 by 2. Right? Now if I substitute it here, okay, I can easily get the formula. But when I simplify it further, the final answer turns out to be P01 would be now the easiest way is this you write the last phrase ratio that is p1q0 upon p0q0 then put the addition sign in numerator and denominator now write the pass phrase ratio <coughs> that is summation p1q1 summation p0q1 times 100 so this is how you could remember <coughs> the Marshall Edgeworth formula. So basically you have to add the numerators of last phrase and past phrase indices and here you have to add the denominators of last phrase and past phrase indices. Okay. Next was 
walls index in case of walls weightage was nothing but root of q0 q1 <clears throat> so the formula is again very simple you just replace w by root of q0 q1 so we have the walls index number as p1 root q0 q1 and in the denominator summation p0 root of q0 q1 times 100 so that is watch index and last in the group was kelly's index now in case of kelly's index weightage is nothing but q q is a quantity lying between a base here and the current here quantity so the formula is again pretty simple you just have to replace w by q so you have summation p1 q upon summation p0 q times 100 <clears throat> so these were the formulae which we studied under the aggregative method okay now we study something more about the second method now which was the second method the average of relatives method so let's see how we construct index numbers under average of relatives method <clears throat> 